Good morning. It is 9.30 on a Saturday. I just got to Goodwill. Um, I'm actually surprised that it is not super crowded yet. Um, so that's exciting. Um, it is time for my annual birthday thrift trip. My birthday's coming up in a couple of weeks. Um, I'm just going to this Goodwill today because I've been doing some online thrifting over the last couple of weeks. And so there are a few things that I'm looking for. And I did still just want to come and bring you guys along for like a a good store trip. I haven't been here in a while. Um, it's fall Halloween time, so I always like to check out their decor. And um, I'll put up a list here. I have I'm mostly looking for tops. I have it's very bright, that's why I'm squinty. Um, but I have just a couple of like styles of tops that are pretty generic that I would like to find for fall. Um, specifically, I'm looking for a cheap belt. Um, I, long story short, um, I've been trying to make my own, like, harness, basically, for my cane for when I'm at work, and I want to have it with me, but I can't, like, it's hard to always set it down places, so I'm actually gonna get, I've had a lot of luck looking in the, like, cosplay sword department, um, so I found, like, a, a, strap for it basically um but there's not a belt attached so I need a belt also just some like t-shirts like graphic t-shirts I watched a, tw a twin L DIY video where she made a dress out of like cut up t-shirts so I'm looking for stuff like that um that's all I remember off the top of my head um, like I said, I'll put the list up. But yeah, we're just going to go inside and see what we find. And then I'll share anything I get find here, plus the online stuff in a haul when we get home. It is warming up quick. Um, I was in there for about an hour. I'm definitely tired. Um, I found a belt. I almost left because I couldn't even find them anywhere and then saw them last minute. It didn't have a tag so I waited in line behind somebody with a ton of stuff just for this little belt that was $2.99 but I know different stores have different policies about that. I almost thought about pulling a sticker off a different belt and just putting it on there, but I've been to some Goodwills where they'll just give it to you. Some where they, they, they're like, we cannot sell it to you. Um, but she had to call somebody over and I need to get the AC going. Um, and have them do that. So I got a belt. So that's one thing off my list. Um, the rest of that stuff just wasn't quite right. Um, I'm being super picky because like I said, I've already got some things this year. Um, that gray dress, I was really tempted. I actually thought about like trying to bleach dye it, but it was a little too short. Uh, those black t-shirts that I saw, I found about 15 more of those. So I don't know what is up with that, but <sighs> I'm tired, but I don't know. I don't, I definitely don't feel like driving out to the other Goodwill, but Plato's Closet's open. Maybe that'll be okay. Maybe I'll just pop in there for a second, so.
Okay, we are done at Plato's Closet. Um, I did end up getting that oversized shirt. It actually, I think, is new with tags and is 100% cotton, and so it might shrink in the wash a little bit. So, which, I mean, if it doesn't, that's fine. Um, I've been into, like, over more oversized long sleeve shirts like that to wear with leggings, so completely not anything that was on my list or even my regular style, but I really like the purple collar and the, the checkerboard. So I'm going to go home and finish washing everything that I've got. I've still some things that I got in the mail from Depop that need to be washed and then I will do a haul for you. All right. So it's the next day. I've got everything washed and ready to go and I can show you my sort of collective haul. There are a couple things in here that I got from a physical thrift store uh, like last month or a few weeks ago, but most of this has been online. So this dress is from Depop. I actually did a thrift flip with it. Um, it was sort of this like one size fits all moo moo situation. Um, I took about two or three panels I think out of the skirt, raised the hemline, um, and then attached these straps that I made. They're kind of frayed. They're a lot frayed, oh no. I washed it for the first time after I made, some of the seams must have come out. Okay, these, these need some help. Um, but I attached um, some straps to it so that I could cinch it tight at the waist or wear it a little bit looser if I wanted. I got a couple of t-shirts from Depop for the dress tutorial from Twinell that I said I wanted to follow. I think this is going to be a really long process of finding shirts for it. I actually ordered a third one, but it's been like two weeks and I, the person said they shipped it, but I kind of don't believe them. So I don't know what's going on with that, but I can't find the other shirt. Uh, it's buried in here somewhere. Um, but I got this black craft cult t-shirt it's kind of a conundrum because it's like easier to curate what you're looking for online but the prices are gonna be a lot higher but I just did some searches and I searched for things that were under ten dollars so that I knew I would at least be saving a little bit that way. I was actually surprised though when I was flipping through t-shirts at the thrift store yesterday. A lot, like t-shirts are expensive. At the I know everybody talks about thrift store prices going up, but I used to, I have some pajama shirts that I bought at the thrift store years ago that were like a dollar and now they're like six or seven bucks. So this might end up being an expensive DIY project, but I think it's gonna take some time. Um, this is just a plain white muscle tee that I found at a Goodwill like last month when I went very sort of like randomly. I, a muscle tee is actually like one of my favorite styles of shirt, um, especially like vintage cuts and they're just hard to find and so I just couldn't pass it up. This is another Depop find. I actually had this one saved for quite a while I was able to kind of negotiate the price a little bit on this one um it's for oh I haven't been doing a good job with brands um this muscle tee is from All Saints um the the red dress didn't have a label on it um this is from Rag Retro uh it's like plaid and corduroy I'm actually going to be featuring this in a video coming up where I'm going to be making outfits out of all of my plaid stuff. <laughs> so I'm very excited for that one. These pants I got when I got to the muscle tee. 
They are just these vintage black trousers. They almost have, I don't even know how to describe this material. They're soft and like almost like a suede feel, but they're, they're not by any means. Like they're machine washable. Um, there is no tag on it, so I have no idea where these came from. They're not homemade though, I don't think. But the black trousers I had just didn't quite fit right, so I needed a replacement for those. These, I did an interesting DIY with them. I decided to try out, um, that app whatnot because they've been sponsoring like everybody that does thrifting stuff on here and a bunch of the sponsorships have like a code where you sign up you get like a $15 credit so I decided to check it out and got some things from a few sellers one thing you should know though um, is those credits do not apply to shipping so I, from the little experience I had over a few days I think when people are like auctioning items it tells you at the bottom what shipping is going to be so I bought two things from one seller so I got free shipping and then the other thing I got the shipping was like four bucks so it was still a great deal but these were kind of a spur of the moment thing um, I've been looking for a pair of good corduroy pants I love this blue color but the measurements were I, like I watched the seller measure these in front of me but they were off um these are also a petite pair of pants um they're just great planes they say size 12 um obviously vintage sizes are different but the waist i can get it buttoned but like i can't breathe um and they're a little short shorter than i normally do um but i actually i split the sides and put some elastic in them i think it's not super noticeable but it was just kind of an experiment to see if I could get these to fit a little bit better. Um, from that same seller, I got this blazer because I can't be controlled um, with how much plaid and how many blazers I buy. Um, I didn't have any with this with purple in it though, and I love this like beautiful like purple and kind of teal color. I think those pants were like eight dollars. Um, the blazer was like ten, I think, and so some of that was still for the credit I had. So I think I might have paid like ten bucks out of those. Um. The other item I got from Whatnot is this very bright, it's brighter than I was expecting, um, but this super vintage, oh, the Blazer Sag Harbor. Um, this is from Milestone, New York. Um, it's very 80s looking, um, but this sweater vest, this was the one I only paid $4 shipping for. These pants, um, I love, I'm so excited about them. Um, these are from Depop. I think I paid like 25, 30 for these. Um, they are a red houndstooth. I love them. I don't know why I'm hanging these back up. I have to do the try on clip still. We're saving this exciting one for last. Um, Oh, here's the other t-shirt that I got for the dress DIY. Um, here is the shirt I got from Plato's Closet yesterday. This sweater, I actually haven't tried it on yet, I washed it right away. I got this from Depop. This is just, oh, this top was Arizona. Um, oh, I'm failing at this, I'm sorry. The pants are unreadable. That's how <laughs> old these pants are. Um, this top is just a Forever 21 sweater. Um, I've 
I'm kind of disappointed that it is a little furry. That's like not really my vibe, but I actually bought this sweater off Depop years ago and then it was like a person whose account wasn't active. So I had to ask, like get Depop to give me a refund. So I never got it and I just, I haven't stopped thinking about it. So I finally found it and bought it again. I just, I've said this before, but for some reason I just like Forever 21 sweaters, I don't know. Um, these are the other pair of awesome pants that I got. Um, these are Riders Casuals. These were new with tags, um, Riders by Lee vintage pants. They're like purple and brown, like checker print. Um, like, I don't know, does that count as gingham when it's just like tiny checks? Um, these were new with tags, so I think these were like 40 bucks off of Depop. It's higher than I usually like to spend, but. And I actually did thrift the, flip these a little bit. This is a trick that I have. Um, they fit me, but they were just, just a pinch more fitted through the thigh than I like. So most pants like this have two seams. They have like the regular pant seam and then the surged seam on the inside. So I actually, just from like the pocket down about part way, I just seam ripped the first seam. I don't know if you can still like see the wrinkles in that, but that bought me like maybe an almost another half inch on each side of fabric. And then I just kind of reinforced, I did a new seam along the surged seam to just like reinforce that. And now they fit perfectly. So that's like a kind of easy little hack if you want to make your pants just a smidge roomier. Okay. Um, last but not least, this was completely random. I was looking for something on ThreadUp. I saw this dress. Um, they wanted like 60 or $70 for it. And I was like, oh, too bad. That was cute. Um, and then a few days later, I saw it in an ad and they were having a sale and it was 40 bucks. And I went and looked at it. Um, it's a size four, which I usually don't fit in ever. Um, but the measurements seemed right. And what I love about thread up is that you can do returns. And so I was like, I'm just going to give this a shot. This dress is beautiful. It is a hundred percent silk. It is plaid. I think the skirt detail is super interesting. Um, this is a coach dress. I have, I have one designer item. I have an Alexander McQueen scarf that I bought off of eBay many years ago. Um, ThreadUp estimated that this dress normally costs $300. I don't know enough about coach to know if that was right. And so I went looking to see because I was like, you know, is it fake? I don't like, I don't know. I mean, they, if it was fake, they fooled thread up, but I was just sort of curious about it. And I was trying to see like more accurate size measurements and like that kind of stuff. And I found other people selling these dresses like on Poshmark and stuff. Um, some of them had the new tags on it. This dress retails for $695. And I paid 40 for it. So, and it fits me beautifully. Um, it's meant to be a little bit oversized, so the hips are free. Um, but even the top, it's not like too loose or anything. So, yeah, I own a designer dress that I got for 40 bucks. This might be the thrift find of all time for me. And I love that like it can be dressy or casual, so I think I will actually get a lot of wear out of it. All right, so that was another year of sort of birthday thrifting for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it and you want to see more from me, feel free to subscribe. I post videos two to three times a month. Thanks so much for watching this one, and I'll see you next time.